Today, I would like you to complete a skill builder worksheet about advanced color schemes. We're going to talk about ways to create these color schemes by mixing and blending colors, and also ways that artists use them in their work. I'm going to be using crayons for mine, but you could use crayons or colored pencils for this. Before we start, we need to consider the color wheel. Using a color wheel, for this skill builder is going to help you figure out which colors go with which color schemes. The first color scheme I want to look at is monochromatic. If we break down the word monochromatic, it means one color. So a monochromatic color scheme is created using tints and shades of one single color. The second color scheme is called tertiary colors. On the color wheel, these colors are the small colors in between the bigger colors. We mix tertiary colors by mixing a primary color with a secondary color. The third color scheme is called analogous colors. Analogous colors are three colors that are in a row on the color wheel. The last color scheme is complementary colors. Complementary colors are colors that are direct opposites on the color wheel. First, I'm going to work on the monochromatic color scheme. I'm using green and also using black and white so that I can create tints and shades of that color of green. For some colors, you might be able to find a lighter version of the color. If not, you can create a lighter version by using less pressure when you are coloring. Pressing hard with the crayon will give you a darker color. Pressing lightly with the crayon will give you a lighter version of that color. For mine, I'm not going to use the light green crayon that I found. Instead, I'm going to create my own light green by using less pressure and adding a little bit of white. In this last box, I'm using very, very light pressure because I want this last color to be a very, very light version of green. After I finish coloring the small boxes, I'm going to try creating a gradient in the large box. A gradient is a gradual color change from one color to another. In my monochromatic color scheme, I'm going to create a gradient of greens changing from dark green to medium green to light green. The next color scheme is called tertiary colors. These colors are created by mixing a primary color, like red, yellow, or blue, with a secondary color, orange, green, or purple. On the first row, I'm going to take the primary color of red and the secondary color purple or violet and mix them together to create a red-violet. A helpful tip when you are using crayons or colored pencils to mix colors, it's best to use medium to light pressure rather than hard pressure. The next color scheme is called analogous colors. Analogous colors are three colors that are in a row on the color wheel or three colors in a row in the rainbow. On my example, I used the analogous color scheme of orange, yellow orange, and yellow. There are a lot of different combinations for analogous color schemes. Just be sure to use the three colors and that they are next to each other. I'm going to create an analogous color scheme of red, red violet, and violet. First, I'm coloring the boxes individually, and then in the second box underneath, I'm going to try blending them so they make a gradient. The final color scheme on our scale builder sheet is complementary colors. Complementary colors are direct opposites on the color wheel. These are the colors that artists use together to create contrast and draw attention to certain areas of their work. Using these colors together makes these areas of an artwork stand out. So if you're using complementary colors in your work, it's best to use them in a few small areas rather than all over. All you need to do for this last section is look at the color wheel and find the complementary colors or the opposites and color in the squares with each complementary group. So now let's review. Tertiary colors are made by mixing a primary color and a secondary color. Monochromatic colors are tints and shades of one single color. Analogous colors are three colors next to each other on the color wheel. And complementary colors are direct opposites on the color wheel. I'd like you to think about how you could use one or more of these color schemes in your work. Maybe you want to try blending analogous colors, or maybe you want to try recreating these color schemes using paints. Maybe you want to make an entire art project using only monochromatic colors, or maybe you have a different idea. 
Think about how you could use some of these advanced color schemes in your own artwork.